I've just seen some really distressing news coming out of the Chelsea uh, Open Training Day. What's going on, everyone, by the way? I hope you're all well. But Chelsea have hosted an Open Training Day today, an amazing event that allows uh, families to go down, watch the team in training, ask some questions, get involved at Stamford Bridge, have the run of the place, and it's all completely free. It is a wonderful thing to do. It's great for the community. It's great for the kids. They love it. And to get that kind of interaction with your heroes is amazing. It's truly amazing. I thought it was a brilliant event. I was so proud that Chelsea put it on. And my mates who were involved with the um, comparing of it did a remarkable job. So I think it was only a day for positivity. There isn't, it's amazing, in fact, that something so brilliant, something that ticks so many boxes, something that is so perfect on so many levels has now descended into this. Somebody has used this occasion as an opportunity to have a pop directly at Timo Werner. Now, regardless of your feelings about Timo Werner, regardless of whether you think Timo Werner should be leading the line for Chelsea or not, people deserve respect and you treat people with respect when you meet them. Whether you agree or disagree with them is kind of irrelevant. When you meet people, there is a, a requirement to be courteous and it is something that you have to extend to people that you agree with and disagree with. I was never particularly happy with Maurizio Sarri as Chelsea manager. It wasn't a fit that I enjoyed, it wasn't a brand of football I enjoyed and it wasn't a season I particularly enjoyed. But when I flew with the team to Budapest for a game just before Christmas, I was on the team plane with Maurizio Sarri, I shook his hand, I was very pleased to meet him and I was nothing but polite and respectful because that is how you conduct yourself. Football debate is brilliant. Football debate is what I love doing almost more than anything else. It's such a fantastic way to get on with people and make new friends and, and flex your um, analytical muscle. It's heartwarming, right? I love being around the kickoff table. I love having disagreements with Lawrence McKenna or Adam McCullough. I love telling the true Geordie that he's getting it wrong. It's brilliant. And quite often I'm put to the sword. They tell me I'm getting it wrong and they win the argument. But that's what football is. It's conjecture and debate and opinion. But what it is also, the, the foundation, the bedrock of football debate is respect. And when you are in a situation where you have access to Timo Werner, he can hear you. That is a very privileged position to be in. That you are in for free because of the generosity of the club. You have to respect that opportunity and conduct yourself appropriately. What you do not do on any circumstance, well, I, it's unfathomable that this has happened, but what you do not do is use it as an opportunity to, to get on a microphone, on the PA system, on the loudspeaker, in front of thousands of fellow fans, and use it as an opportunity to slate Timo Werner. You do not say to Timo Werner directly, get out of the club. Like, where is that lack of respect coming from? How is that feasible? How is that even possible? So I am truly appalled that that has happened. And on a day when you've just witnessed the Champions League being paraded in front of you. Chelsea have won the European Cup. Timo Werner was a large part of Chelsea winning the European Cup. Timo Werner scored against Real Madrid. It, to get us into the... I, I, I do not understand how you can do that. Do I think Timo Werner is good enough to play for Chelsea? Absolutely not. If I met Timo Werner, I, I would never, never bring that to his attention in that sort of way. It is truly disrespectful and actually shocking. And I can't quite understand the motivation. I, I don't understand why you would do that, particularly on such a feel-good occasion. So I think it's sad times, sad news, um, and very surprising because these events, like when I was a bit younger, I've been to a fair few of them. They're always good. They're always feel good. They're always really enjoyable, full of kids in a new kit, really looking forward to the season, off the back of a 3-0 win against Palace on the opening day. So to use it as an occasion that is going to be so flammable, as soon as you say that, the crowd's going to turn because people are going to disagree with you there is a chance that you are going to ignite a spark for an incident at an open day at Stamford Bridge for families. There is a chance that you are going to upset people at an open day at Stamford Bridge for families. You are going to have a negative impact on a vast majority of people's day. You are, it's hurtful to team over, like I just truly 
can't understand how something like this could happen. Um, I think some of the reports stated that the fellow who made the comment was chased out of Stamford Bridge. I mean, I certainly think it's correct that he left Stamford Bridge off the back of that. And I just, I, I genuinely question the motivation. I, I don't understand why you would use an opportunity that is, that you're so lucky to be there. There must be countless people that would have loved to have been there today that couldn't be. You know, there's a finite amount of tickets, finite amount of people can get the day off work, finite amount of people live in proximity to Stanford Bridge to be able to get there. And yet, somebody who has ticked all of those boxes, managed to be at such a feel-good event, has used their, their place, their seat, their prized seat, that must be one of the most coveted seats around today, in terms of things going on in London, it must be one of the best things that you can be a part of. Somebody has lucked out, got there, got their opportunity, been selected to ask a question, and has used their question to be snide, aggressive, and rude. Totally impertinent and rude. And I find it truly upsetting. I think there was talk that the speakers were facing away from the players. So I'm optimistic that potentially the squad, it's not only about Werner, nobody needs to hear that. Nobody needs to hear that. Like when you're not in the stadium, your responsibility is to, oh, forgive me, when you are in the stadium, your responsibility is to pledge full, unilateral, aggressive, partisan support to your team. That's what you do when you're at Stamford Bridge. Away from Stamford Bridge, in the pubs, on the videos, on the kickoff, wherever, you can explore certain things. Is Timo Werner good enough to play for Chelsea? Sat around a table on a Tuesday afternoon, maybe not. In the stadium at Saturday at 3 0 2, 100% yes. Are you singing Timo Werner's name at that point? Absolutely. Are you pledging full aggressive support to Timo Werner? 100%. Do I think he could be improved upon? Maybe. But in the stadium, it's different. The rules are different. And you do not explore other options when you are around the players at Stamford Bridge. It's truly, truly remarkable in the most negative of ways that this can happen. It isn't about stifling conversation. It isn't about stifling people's freedom to say what they wish, because that's allowed. But there is context and there is a time and a place for everything. And the time and place to have a conversation about whether Timo Werner deserves to lead the life of Chelsea or whether Timo Werner needs to, to put it in the way that it was put to Werner, get out of the club, the time and place for that conversation is totally and utterly not at this kind of an event. Sad times, man. It's a real shame that it happened because I think that um, I think that the feeling around the club is very high, naturally, when we've won a European Cup. We've just seen the European Cup paraded in front of the kids. It's amazing. New strips galore, open day at the bridge, everything feeling good, 3-0 win at Palace, Arsenal on the weekend, going to slap them up. And instead, we're discussing this. Real shame. Real, real shame. Um, but hopefully, uh, be fantastic for Timo Werner to score a winner against Arsenal. Give it that to the cameras. So the geezer who decided to use his opportunity to uh, make a point that certainly didn't need to be made in that context. Real shame. I'm out. In a bit.